I've just gone through one of the world's most unusual security checks. All the loose coins I was carrying are now inside the small locker, and I won't get them back till I leave here. Why? Well, because this is the place where they actually make money, the Royal Mint at Lanrison in Wales. And naturally enough, they want to make sure that I leave with exactly the same number of coins that I came in with. These are the raw materials which end up as our coins. Copper, nickel, zinc, and tin. They weighed and measured like the ingredients for a giant cake and fed to the furnaces. Money has been minted in Britain for 2,000 years, and today the Royal Mint serves the world. The metal bars leave the furnace. They rolled and rolled again till they are exactly the right thickness for a given coin. They end up as great shining coils, like this one of bronze. Then they are stamped out into blanks, flat discs of metal slightly larger than the finished coin. The blanks are heated, making them softer and easier to work. Then they are pickled in acid to make them bright and shiny. This is the coining and press room where the designs for the heads and tails are stamped out on the blanks. Coins come off the machines at the rate of 250 a minute. So there's a lot of money here. For Africa, for Britain, for the world. And your coins are perfect. This machine checks for faults invisible to the naked eye. The most exacting skills are needed by the engravers who finish the master dies which carry the coin's design. They're working on something very special at the moment. The crown piece which will be issued for the Queen's Silver Jubilee. To check the tiniest detail in the design, an enlarged model of the crown is made and is then reduced by this remarkable machine to its correct size. This care is doubly important when you realize that some of the crowns will be struck in precious metal, known as proof coins. Blanks for proof coins are burnished by a mass of small pellets and then handled with enormous care. The tiniest crack would ruin them. Gold and silver, be polished till you can see your face in them. Dyes which strike proof coins are kept spotless. They may be used as few as five times. Each proof is minutely checked to make sure it's perfect. For these are the precious collector's items of the future. have to pinch myself to make sure I'm not dreaming because here at the end of the main production line I'm surrounded by literally millions of pounds. This bag alone holds 250 pounds sterling and this trolley here 25,000 and if I just walk to the end of this line well I pass nearly 2 million pounds on the way. I suppose this is the nearest I'll ever get to being a millionaire. But the next time I use a coin, I'll certainly show a bit more respect. 